One thing about New York City, man, we, we know we know how to send send you home, man. We mm-hmm. know how to pay tribute to you know to the legends, you know not only the Garden, Barclays Center last night they had a tribute for Kobe. They had the two chairs with the flowers on it. Yeah. Uh, myself and CJ we just left Rucker Park earlier yeah. today. Mm-hmm. They had the the eight on one foul line. They had the twenty four on the other foul line. You know, like New York is just it, it's just showing so much love to to Kobe like. You couldn't ask for for anything more. Yeah. Everybody's just out here showing love. And uh, one thing I really respect, and I love Mark Cuban. Like I, I love Mark Cuban. Like that's the kind of owner that you want to have on your team. One of the team. best in all the sports. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said that he is retiring Kobe Bryant's number twenty four number in in Dallas. That jersey, nobody's wearing number twenty four in Dallas anymore. Yeah. And you you gotta respect that, man. When I found that out, I thought that was incredible because obviously we know he did not play for Dallas. So the fact that another he's had such an impact on this mm-hmm. entire franchise right. that they're going to um, you know retire his his jersey. So I thought that was incredible. It, it again, it just speaks to the NBA getting it and yeah. understanding uh, their players. Um, we've we've talked about it plenty of times with yeah. other you know social issues. Yeah. But this is another one that they realize what Kobe meant to the game, what Kobe meant yes. to the fans of the game, culture. and everyone, the culture in general. Yeah. You know, I, I was surprised that he decided to retire it, mm-hmm. but I completely understand why. You know, Kobe moved the game forward. Yeah. And you know, hopefully, you know, speaking of moving forward, I hope that the NBA really hears. Um, those who have signed this petition, million, millions of people have signed this petition. In to days. Cha- yes, very quickly. To change the yes. NBA logo to um, Kobe Bryant. So, I mean, I think it, it <laughs> has crazy. to be done. The, the, the <laughs> max, the it max on the petition was $3 million, <laughs> Yeah. And when I checked, the last time I checked, it was at $2.77 million. Yes. <laughs> when I first put it in the group chat, it was at 577000 Yeah. 577, <laughs> like it, it's just crazy. I'm, like um, the, the amount of love. I may man. be in a minority. I'm a little conflicted on it. Not that I don't want him to be. Yeah. I don't want to make it sound like that. I have no problem if Kobe is the new logo. Yeah. Um, I just don't want us to rush to do it because of the way he passed and every, and all of our emotions right now. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because, God forbid, five years from now, Michael Jordan would have passed. Are we gonna do this again? Yeah. You know. Change, I, yeah. Right. But I would like to see the league do something to honor Kobe in a way that every team can can. Kind of rally around it. Mm-hmm. Maybe they can retire the, the number twenty four league wide. Maybe the twenty four, or maybe well, create a special logo for the Lakers. Yeah. With Kobe, where they get to wear that because of what he meant to that organization. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, I I think I kind of disagree with you because I I feel that just change in general, you know, keeping it the same. Uh, forgive me because I don't remember who's on it now. Jerry, Jerry West. West. Jerry West. Right. Another Laker. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right, but I think. You know, it's the generation, so many things are changing just in the world. And I think just having, you know, maybe it's not Kobe forever. Maybe it's someone else that steps up and has a certain amount. Of, you know what I mean? But I right. think keeping yeah. it the same. Well, because cause here's the thing, right? And I, and I, 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 I kind of do agree with Eric. You know what I'm saying? Because we've talked about the logo changes before. Yeah. And it's just like if you're going to change the logo, you got to go to 2-3. I, that's what I think. You know, it, got, it has to go to, Kobe to MJ. More? No, not to no. to the game of basketball. No, Michael Jordan changed the game. Yeah, he, he Michael, did. He changed that's the a good game. Point. Mike, and, I, and no disrespect to Kobe, respect everything uh, that Kobe did. But Michael Jordan changed the game. So if there's gonna be a logo change, and I know there was issues with it because of the Jumpman logo, and and, and mm-hmm. he owns that. Uh, but if there's gonna, you know what I'm saying? But if the, if you're gonna change the logo, there's there's an order. Where you got it going, and that's not to take away again to take away from Kobe. Because of the way but, he died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's the thing. Because let's just say you know if this happens 20 years from now, Kobe's in the 60s. We, you know, like the discussion is different. We, I don't right. think we're talking about changing the logo for Kobe. It's just that is now he's about to go into the Hall of Fame, and everybody's again everybody's consumed by the emotions right yeah. now. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But if we, we're talking about the game of basketball and what guys have done and meant to the game of basketball. Yeah. I mean, MJ is is the greatest of all time. Yeah, I mean, so it's kind of it's a pecking order. In my lifetime, I've watched a lot of basketball. In my mid thirties, Kobe's the third best player I've ever seen behind Mike and LeBron. Just in my lifetime, I'm yeah. not saying okay. that's not my order yeah. of all no, time. Yeah, yeah. Just in my lifetime. <laughs> yeah. But if Michael Jordan doesn't do the things that he did, Kobe mm-hmm. never gets a shot coming out of high school. Michael right. Jordan revolutionized the game because yes. no team would ever dared of building a, a contender around a guard. 
Yeah, it was always, it was all it about was the always big man. a big man. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What Mike did changed the game to the point where it allowed Allen Iverson to be the number one pick in the draft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It allowed Kobe Bryant to come from high school. Yes. You know, on the top ten scoring list, there's only two guys on there that are under six feet eight. It's Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. So you're saying without yeah. Michael Jordan, there will be no Kobe. Absolutely. Yeah, he paved yeah. the way. Absolutely. And, and Kobe will say that. Well, he modeled, because he modeled his game after Mike. Right. Kobe will tell you, yeah, he'll yeah. tell you that. Yeah. Kobe will admit that. You yeah. know, he, he yeah. wanted it. And Super there's point. nothing wrong with that. I would love to see them do something special for the Lakers in, in the logo. Yes. Maybe make their logo specifically Kobe. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But to change it league-wide, God forbid, God forbid LeBron pass in 10 years. We changing it again? Yeah, because I think all of us got LeBron ahead of Kobe on the all time. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, so we're gonna, we gonna change it again, and yeah. then so you know yeah, we're we gonna change it again. If, like, it, if it's be... gonna change, you gotta go MJ, yeah. and that's yeah. it. I'm sorry, I like yeah. it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like Jay be... West had it for a long time, mm -hmm. but it's gotta be yeah. If you're gonna change, you gotta go to MJ first. Go ahead. Will you... Maybe there should be like a certain amount of years they should change the logo. You know, like X I can say that every maybe every ten years. Yeah. Rotate it. Yeah. Because 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 again we you know we have generational players. Right. So. Jordan was the guy. I mean, obviously, he's the GOAT. But then after Jordan, you know what I'm saying, who comes next, right? Mm -hmm. And then after them, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to say, all right, Jordan had it on lock pretty much his entire career. Then who takes the reins over? Mm -hmm. Kobe, maybe, or Shaq, maybe, right. or, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Then after that, then it's LeBron. Yeah. Then after okay. LeBron, you know what I'm saying, who's going to be the next guy to come over and dominate for the next 10 years right. yeah. and be that the guy in basketball? So I do, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. You know, maybe every 10 years, just changing up the logo. Yeah. Um, but you know we don't know. We gotta we gotta see again, Eric. I I, I think they, they should do something because you know Kobe did mean a lot to the game of basketball and to a lot of of people, a lot of basketball yeah. fans. I yes. mean, look, Italy they 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 do the whole week. It's just, whole it's Kobe week, week yeah. in Italy. Kobe, China, mm -hmm. yeah. Kobe. Co the, on, the only two people that may be bigger than uh, Kobe in China is Yao Ming. And Stephon Marbury. And that's mm -hmm. only because he got like five championships yeah. and two statues outside, right. the, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, Kobe is, is, is worldwide. I, I can say, um, I think what really touched me about the response of his death online um, was the fact that in this time of 2020 where, you know, we're seeing, and we talked about it so much on the show, black men dealing with just so much, with police, with just being a black man in America, to have the whole nation... Yeah. You know, stop. Yeah. Because a black man died. Like, and and maybe I'm as a black woman, I'm being selfish right now with with no, that not regard. At all. But not at all. to have him praised as a father, as um, being multifaceted, just I don't know, speaking three languages, just everything about Kobe. I, I've learned more about him, obviously, because I'm like, you know, reading more and more the last four days. But that is just something that I can't really stop thinking about yeah, look, look, and that I mean, just speaks to he's an icon yeah yeah um, you know you one of the guys i do. interviewed today at booker park um it was his he's from brazil and this is the second time in new york and he decided to come to booker park because that was one of new york's greatest moments of kobe mm -hmm. you know he surpri he made a surprise visit mm -hmm. to Rucker park um no one was expecting him to be there and it was raining that day too, and he still yep. like balled out on the court. Still like was praising everybody. Was he was just a cool, genuine guy, and that's what changed everybody's respect of him. Yeah. So yeah. He, yeah. he did a lot um, did a on lot. and off the court, and yeah. uh, his as you mentioned, you're not uh, you know overstating it. Yeah. The NBA actually considered canceling every game that day. Yeah which shows you the impact Kobe had. Like, that was a lot of money the NBA was, was willing to just say, all right, we'll pass on that. Mm -hmm. Because they really wanted to honor and respect him. Yeah. Ultimately, they didn't because they weren't going to be able to reschedule all of those games. Yeah. I think there yeah. were like seven games that day. I know. And they knew they weren't going to be able to reschedule all of them, so they had to go forward with yeah. them. But there was a moment there for about a good two hours where it was like, we're about to cancel all the games today. Yeah. We don't want yeah. anybody playing. We just want to honor him. Let yeah. this be all about him. Sports Center ran continuous coverage for a whole day straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just telling stories mm -hmm. on Kobe. Yeah. And then was, after they finished telling yeah. stories, they started playing all his greatest games. They still playing his greatest games. Yeah. We, we a weekend. It's crazy that the <laughs> the next game for the Lakers was gonna be Lakers Clippers. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like that. Like. There was, <laughs> but there was so many sim like symbolic things that happened 
on Sunday, I mean, it was the Grammys at the Staples Center mm -hmm. when all of these mega stars found out that he died, right? So yeah. now we open up the Grammys with a whole ceremony of Alicia Keys and Boys the Men honoring Kobe. And even Alicia Keys' words when she opened up with her song was, we are standing in the house that Kobe built. That's yeah. a fact. It like, that is powerful. That's and, a fact. And immediately... You, you got to respect it, man. Yeah, immediately, you know... Um, Kobe is L.A. He is. Kobe, Kobe is L.A. Anybody from L.A. will tell you, man, I'm from that area. Ice Cube came on and said it. Snoop came on yeah. and said it. Yeah. He is Los Angeles. Yeah. That man, at the end of the day, love him or hate him, he bought five championships to the city of Los Angeles. And what that does for a city, you know, even economically, right, with a team funneling yeah. in money, funneling, it, beca it becomes uh, essentially a, a tourist attraction. Yeah. When um, he was in the league, I remember when my, my aunt or uncle, they had went to L.A., and it was like we a part of our vacation trip was seeing a Lakers game. Right. You know what I mean? So it just yeah. becomes a part of that. So, yeah, he more than yeah. absolutely, you know. You get, you get like, it's like, all right, when you're in the West – that that legacy that that comes from the Lakers, right? In the East, you got the Yankees, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just like that. That's how it is. Yeah. Like, it's it's you, so big. So you impactful. can't say enough. Like I said, you can't say enough of what he meant there. Like, we're in a time where you don't see players stay with a team more than five years, ten years. Yeah, he was there twenty years. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah. It's crazy. You know what Derek? Like as Tripp said, what Derek Jeter was to the Yankees and what that meant to New York. Yeah. that's yeah. what Kobe was out west. Yeah. And, and he put up 60 in his last game. I put up 60, which <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that, that's what to me made it a little eerie too because we know, everyone knows the night before LeBron passed him for third. Oh, yeah. yeah. Earlier that week, we were celebrating Kobe's 81 point game. Yes. Mm -hmm. This Saturday, we would have been celebrating his 61 point game at the Garden. Like yeah. we, were, we were literally celebrating yeah. Kobe without realizing what was about to happen. Yeah. yeah. We were right in the middle of yeah. all that. And, you know, even though we have been celebrating his life, of course, in death, people still try to bring up negativity. Um, so recently there was tweets. So she gets a huge buy Felicia. Felicia <laughs> Somez um, of the Washington Post retweeted one, one of the articles that basically brought up Kobe's uh, rape accusation. So she, I believe, got suspended. And apparently she's fearing her life right now because a lot of people sent her um, some really negative threats. So this was expected. Um, for someone to bring up his past in Absolutely. that regard. Yeah, but come on. But a, he, not two hours after. Two this hours after the, after the man dies? Like, come yeah. on. Unfortunately, we live in a time where everybody wants their news immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. so easy to go on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and then anything that's out, you don't know whether to believe it, whether it's true, and in a moment like that, yeah. Yeah. you're trying to figure it out, as we were. Yeah, in the, absolutely, yeah. In the group chat. Um, but it, it, was, it was very, uh, very yeah. tacky of her to even do yeah. that. Um, I think a lot of people forget, because it was so long ago, there were a lot of holes in the young lady's story that yeah. even the, the prosecution was fearful they wouldn't even be able to go to trial with it. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Um, not to stain her name, we're not going to say her name anyway, but, yeah. you know, she showed up for the for the rape kit wearing a pair of underwears that had another man's semen in it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. This yeah. supposed to be the day after the rape. Yeah. But you know what, M, one of your friends spoke out today. Yes. And bought, a whole, bought a whole bunch of receipts and, and, was, and was checking them and checking them and checking yeah. them and checking them and checking them and checking them. So Lindsay Granger, um, she's actually a TV host, uh, 10 years as a reporter, grew up just a few blocks away from me. One of the first women that, um, you know, gave me valuable advice about how to be a TV host. She went on air today, um, or, you know, yesterday rather, and really defended Kobe's name. So we had the clip for you guys to show you um, you know, her thoughts on this ridiculous tweet. The journalist Felicia, and she is somebody who has gone through sexual assault herself. And she said that in the Washington Post, she released an article a couple of years ago detailing her experience. So as a journalist, which is not what we do, we are a talk show with opinion. You were a and I was a journalist for 10 years, for 10 years, 10 years prior to taking this to job. Said. So as a journalist, it's our job to objectively report the news. I know that that would be tough if you're someone who survived sexual assault. But when I'm looking at this story, she didn't give the story any context. And she got upset that she was being attacked on Twitter for tweeting a link that basically was condemning Kobe's character and accusing him of rape. But I think her job as a journalist was to put that in context. You have the responsibility and you need to have the journalistic acumen to write the full story. Go to the Washington Post and say, this man is a nuanced character. This man has a detailed, layered history that we need to discuss. But don't just tweet that out and be the political reporter for the Washington Post and tweet that and leave it there. This is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans.
is real talk, we as real as you thought Real 